I've got six new Funko 5 star Harry Potter figures and I'm going to unbox them and review them today. Hello lovelies, my name is Mamta and welcome to my channel Geeklets in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. I mainly make Harry Potter videos so feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos for more magical hauls, reviews and fun and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So as I mentioned I've got six of the Funko 5 star Harry Potter figures and five of them are from the first wave while one of them is a Walmart exclusive. So I'm just going to go through them one by one and give you a close look. So first up I've got Harry Potter himself and I paid $11.99 Canadian dollars for him and my amazing friend Remember All 7 from Instagram helped pick him up along with three of the other Funko 5 star figures from Canada for me because they weren't available in Hong Kong yet. So thank you so much Remember All 7 for helping me get these. So I think the packaging of the new Funko 5 star line is pretty amazing. I love the combination of the white with the gray and the gold and the magical elements and it kind of looks like there's magical writing on it as well. So the front, you get a glimpse of the character inside through the small circular window. The sides say five star and then the back has a glimpse of all the characters from the first wave. So my favorite part about this packaging is that there's a little label here that says open here because there's a velcro sticker that connects the front and when you open it, you can reveal the entire contents of this box. So it includes the figure and supporting accessories. So that's right, the Funko 5 star line comes with the character figures along with these tiny tiny accessories which are the cutest part. I just love them. I think it's such a nice touch because I don't think any of the other Funko lines does this. So when I saw this, I just knew that I had to get as many of these characters as I could. So that's exactly what I did. So Harry here comes with a tiny little wand, a little Hedwig figure and the most adorable tiny Hogwarts letter. And they're all kind of held inside the plastic by little pieces of plastic. So they're held in place and that actually makes it really good for display too if you didn't want to remove it out of the box. But I will be removing it out of the box so that we could get a close look. So here's the little Harry and he's so cute. I love the style of their faces in the 5 star line. They've got a kind of cuteness, kind of realism to it but not exactly as well. Like the eyes are enormous and I think that's the part I really like about it. And he's got his like huge little glasses as well. And these figures are slightly taller than the minis but they're shorter than the Funko Pop line and the Rock Candy line. And what makes these figures great is actually they're movable. So there are parts of it that are movable. So you can see his head can kind of move around. His hands can kind of move up and down. His legs are in place though. So I don't think we've had other Funko figures that do that yet. So that's what makes this 5 star line really cool as well. The hands on these figures are perfect for holding some of the accessories. So Harry here can hold his little wand and the little Hogwarts letter as well. And then you can have Hedwig in front of him on display. So let's move on to Ron Weasley now who I got back in August for US dollars $10.99 from Amazon. And I featured him in my August favorites videos. So I've already unboxed him which is why all his accessories have kind of just flown out of the box. They're just kind of all over the place because there's no plastic holding them in. So little Ron here is also super cute. He's in his school robes just like Harry and he also has a little wand that he can hold in his hand. And then he also comes with a tiny chocolate frog which is just so cute and scabbers the rat. And then I've got Hermione Granger who was also for $11.99 Canadian dollars and she comes with three accessories as well. So Hermione of course is also super cute. Her eyeliner is on point with these cat eye wingtips and then she's got these adorable freckles on her face as well. And she too comes with a little wand which can be held in her right hand. And actually all these figures can hold their wands in their right hand because the grip on that hand is better suited for a wand on the right side rather than the left side. And then she's also got a little feather quill and then a Hogwarts A History book. And next I've got Rubius Hagrid and this is my first ever Funko figure of Hagrid so I'm quite excited about it. And he comes with two different accessories that look pretty great. So I think Hagrid looks fantastic and I'm so excited to finally have him as a figure in my collection. He comes with a little pink umbrella which of course holds his hidden wand pieces and that can be held in his right hand. And then he also comes with a little white box and a cake that says happy birthday Harry and it's just so cute. 
I love this little cake so much. And of course, since Hagrid is pretty huge, he's much taller than the other characters. And next I've got Albus Dumbledore who looks so wizardly with his purple robes and two accessories. So Dumbledore comes with an elder wand and none other than Fox the Phoenix who looks so incredible and majestic perched on his golden stand. I just love the colors on Fox here and I think this is definitely one of the better sets in the 5 star line. And then finally, I got a Walmart exclusive figure of Severus Snape and Walmart actually had a couple of exclusives for the Harry Potter 5 star line. So they had variations of Harry, Ron, Hermione and Hagrid and then they had Snape. Now I didn't get the other figures because I figured since I already got them for the first wave, I didn't need to get the Walmart exclusives, but they do come with different accessories in the Walmart exclusives. So I picked up the Snape figure for a 180 Hong Kong dollars at my local Funko Pop shop in Hong Kong. They surprisingly carried a lot of the Funko 5 star exclusives that were from Walmart, so I was really happy to find him. But I think in Walmart itself in the US, he's around the $10 US mark, somewhere around there. So Snape here looks pretty awesome and comes with three different accessories. So Snape comes in a navy outfit and he's got a pretty serious expression on his face. And he comes with a little wand that can be held in his right hand, a little potions bottle and a cauldron which is perfect for brewing potions. So that is it for all the Funko 5 star figures that I got from the Harry Potter line. And I just adore all the characters I got. I think this line is incredible. The Rock Candy line was always my favorite in terms of Funko lines, but the 5 star line is now my new favorite because I just love the fact that they come with tiny accessories. And I can't wait to see which other Harry Potter characters they come out with in this line. I really hope they do some Fantastic Beast characters in this line as well, as I would love to have a little Newt with a little picket and a briefcase. I think that would just be so adorable. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the Funko 5 star line and which of these characters was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel Geek Glitz for more things geek and more things glitz as I make videos every Friday. And feel free to connect with me on all my other social media as well. I've got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So come check me out on all of them. Thank you for watching lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye!